liberty, peace and justice. Chanting, these protesters plan to take their message to the gates of the presidential palace in Khartoum. Previous attempts have been broken up by riot police firing tear gas. Today is no different. The rallies began last month. Triggered by the Bashir government's decision to triple the price of bread, they're focused on removing the president from office. More than 50 similar rallies have taken place across the country. In Khartoum, Wad Madani and Omdurman, where one person was killed. It's the biggest day of protests in living memory in Sudan. Shortages of bread and fuel have regularly hit several cities. Inflation has soared to 70% and the Sudanese pound has plunged in value. Officials say that 26 people have died since the protests began. Rights groups say more than 40 have been killed. The crackdown has drawn international condemnation, including from the US who threatened diplomatic sanctions. Demonstrations, international pressure, but still Bashir holds on. In power since 1989, he vows he'll not step down.